was good y'all rich sosa checking back in and i just want to say first off and foremost thank y'all so much to the rich gang family for making this possible y'all i am going to continue to bring y'all the daily bangers i'm going to continue to put y'all on my back and bring y'all every single build on every single 2k y'all but i got some gameplay dropping really soon more of my two-way post scoring playmakers so y'all already know what time it is but let's get right into it as you can see by the looks of the title when the screen the build that i'm bringing y'all today is the two-way stretch facilitator y'all i'm telling y'all me personally i have not seen a build like mine just yet you already know we get the lockdown slash rim protector takeover with it this build is going to be really nice so before we get into the making y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new y'all to all the supporters Let's go ahead and run up those likes for the Rich Gang family. Let's go ahead and get 45 likes on this banger. Be sure to share it with your family and friends. And last but not least, y'all, be sure to turn on post notice so y'all can see when I upload every single day. Now, to make this two-way stretch facilitator, we have to go with none other than the center build, y'all. I have already brought y'all the two-way facilitator under the same position very different build from this one but honestly i think i like this one a little bit more y'all so with the height we're gonna go ahead and keep it as is when it comes to the wingspan go ahead and put that seven feet when it comes to the weight the perfect weight in my personal opinion is gonna be somewhere in the 240s it depends on how you want your physicals to be i'm gonna go with 243 because of the fact that we're gonna have a 91 strength and at 99 we're gonna get that 99 strength regardless so that's why I want to keep my strength as is right there and still get the max speed that I possibly can, y'all. Now, when it comes to these breakdowns, I have done the setups, gone back and forth in the lab, y'all. This is easily the best version that I found myself possible. So what y'all want to go ahead and do for your physicals, y'all. Put your stamina at a 91. When it comes to your vertical, go ahead and put that at a 77. For your strength, we are also going to be putting this at 91 y'all the reason why i want it at 91 is because y'all know about having plus four to every stat at 99 and then once you get the gym rat badge that's another plus four and that puts you at plus eight in total with our acceleration and strength we're gonna go with 62 excel and 67 speed y'all now when it comes to the defensive side of things for your defensive rebound go ahead and put that at 87 put your offensive rebound at a 62 and we're gonna put our block to exactly 74 just so we get the intimidator badge unlocked y'all and that is what i really wanted when it came to this build now for the interior defense go ahead and put this at exactly now you have a couple ways you could go about it you could put it in the low 90s or at 94 y'all again it depends on if you want eight or nine defensive badges i'm gonna go between 94 and 95 if you go 94 you're still gonna have the same amount of badges it's just that once it's maxed out you're gonna have at 99 a 98 interior instead of 99 so it's all based on preference y'all our speed with ball we're gonna go with 45 ball handle is gonna be at a 66 and we're gonna put our pass accuracy to an 81 so we're able to get that dimer on hall of fame y'all when it comes to the free throw go ahead and put that at 65 three pointer we're gonna go ahead and put that at 86 and our mid range is going to be an 87 y'all so that's 19 11 and 9 badges already right there when it comes to our driving dunk, we're going to go ahead and max that out at 67. We're going to put our driving layup to a 75. And as you can see, we do not need a lot of stats when it comes to our standing dunk. So put that at 95 and post control at 88. That's going to give you 13 badges right there. This build is very versatile on the offensive side of things. The defense really isn't that bad, especially if you have high IQ, y'all. Now, I feel like this is a really good center build because of the height, yes. But once you get this build maxed out at 99 plus gym rat, this build is going to be really something else, especially for the height that we have it at. So as you can see for the takeovers, we get the sharp shooting, we get the playmaking, also get the rim protector as well as the post scoring, y'all. You can definitely consider one of the post scoring takeovers for this build, depending on your play style, y'all. I truly believe 
that this is going to be a fun build to use i love the name i love that it is so versatile on offense and it really isn't a bad thing when it comes to the defense because i'm going to go ahead and choose paint intimidation just to be more effective and more of a lockdown and that makes up for the defensive badges that we don't have on a normal build to where they have usually around 15 to 20 and up i'm also going to go with limitless range and let's go ahead and check out the build name and as y'all can see we get a legit two-way stretch facilitator y'all i love the comparisons that we get for this build honestly i can say that you can literally put any two builds together and make one build out of it in nba 2k 21 on next gen that is the thing that i find a huge crazy difference with is that you can literally make any type of two builds and put the name in one and it will definitely come out as long as you put all the stats right but let's go ahead and check out what this build is going to look like when it comes to 99 as well as when we get that gym right y'all so look our speed is going to go up y'all plus eight that's going to be a 75 our acceleration is going to be a 70 strength we're going to get that 99 our vertical is going to be an 85 and our stamina is going to be 99 as well y'all now for the rest of our main stats we're going to get plus four at 99 so our defensive rebound that's going to go up to 91 our block is going to be a 78 and interior defense is going to be a 98 y'all add boost to that and you're going to add literally plus five to those stats as well when it comes to your ball handle you're going to have a 70 which is really nice especially for the height that we have this build at i know there are some dribble moves you could do i am doing it on my build already currently that has around the 70 ball handle but our shooting our three-pointer is going to be a 90 y'all mid-range is going to be a 91 when it comes to our standing dunk we're going to have a 99 post control is going to be a 92 and a driving layup with boost i'm telling y'all it's going to be in the 80s and our driving dunk is going to be in the 70s so that's why i'm telling y'all when you max this build out it is going to be really something special not a bad bad setup i have to say y'all it is really good especially for the height that we have it at y'all i love the height that we are really tall you're gonna be a lot taller than most of the players that you run against but i'm gonna go ahead and throw on hall of fame posterizer and since we are part post scoring you could put on postman technician or drop stepper on hall of fame or even dream shake y'all again it comes down to what y'all want to do i'm just trying to give y'all some ideas but a badge that's considerable, it would be back down Punisher as well, especially if you get a guard switched on you. I'm going to go with Postman Technician on Hall of Fame and Lob City Finisher on Bronze, y'all, just so we get the animations. I would go with Fearless Finisher, but we only get it on Gold, so I'm going to go with Hall of Fame Rise Up, y'all. When it comes to the shooting, now, we have a lot of options that we could go with here, y'all. Because of the fact that we do not get deep threes on this build, which is okay, y'all, you're not really going to be needing to shoot too deep when it comes to this build you're literally going to be able to do everything at a really frequent rate y'all so i'm going to go with hot zone hunter on gold one that i really would consider for y'all to put on is going to be fade ace so that way you could post up and get those fading moves y'all this badge would go hand in hand with deadeye just so it's way more effective when you're backing somebody down and again that's why i said if you put on back down punisher it's going to go hand in hand with fade ace as well as deadeye so for now, I'm not going to put Deadeye just on yet. I'm going to go with Corner Specialist and Hall of Fame. Or you could do Clutch Shooter as well as Hot Shot both on Hall of Fame as well. But let's say you don't want Clutch Shooter. You could put on Green Machine on Gold. And then you could put on Silver Deadeye. Or you could put Bronze Green Machine. And then put on Silver Catch and Shoot. It comes down to what y'all want to do. But that's the setup that I'm going to run with. And when it comes to the offense, y'all. Here, we are really just trying to help out our teammates as much as we possibly can, y'all. Being seven feet, backing people down, you are going to get doubled in the paint. So I would put on Dimer on Hall of Fame. And that way, when you hit your teammates, you're going to get that boost. Another one I would put on is going to be Special Delivery, y'all. These are both going to give your teammates boost to their takeovers. And it's really going to help the both of them out, y'all. Now... I normally wouldn't put this badge on, but I'm going to go with Floor General. We can't get it in the Hall of Fame for this build, but it's still going to help out our teammates. And normally, like I said, I would not go for it because it's gold. But again, I'm going to make it an exception for this specific build. Now, as I said earlier, we specifically wanted Intimidator. I'm going to go ahead and put that on gold. Y'all can consider for the Hall of Fame badge, Tireless Defender and Rebound Chaser. But definitely throw on Rim Protector and Chase Down Artist, both on bronze, just to get the animations. But we ended with a total of eight Hall of Fame badges, y'all. I love the build that we made. A really taller defender when it is all said and done. Again... If y'all watched this entire video through, I just want to say thank y'all so much to the Rich Gang family for always showing up, showing out, 
and showing y'all support man and if you're new thank y'all so much for your amazing support too you are a part of the rich gang family as well yes you watching right now listening thank y'all so much go ahead and drop a comment let's see what kind of bills y'all want me to make what kind of videos i got a lot of things coming for this next gen but man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new y'all to the rich gang family and all the supporters let's go ahead and run up those likes let's get 45 likes on this banger be sure to share it with your family and friends and last but not least y'all turn on those post noties so y'all can see when i upload every single day man with all that being said i got one last thing to say rich out